hi, I'm Dennis O'Brien, the uh, Killington and Pico pumps and compressors uh, mechanic and foreman for the crew that runs the pumps and compressors. We're here at Pico today, uh, debuting our new pump station that we've been working on since 2020. It's a big day today. We're gonna put water to it for the first time. The guys outside are working to hook up the last uh, connection to the ponds. Then they put a new line from the ponds down to the pump house to feed this beast, increasing our uh, water flow and, um, and reliability with that new line. So here's the new pump station. Put in new electrical service, brand new transformer outside. It took 60 weeks to get. It was something that was not on the shelf. Um, so we put brand new power into the building. Green Mountain Power is nice enough. We asked if we could increase our pump capacity, and they sent us a uh, uh, an ability to serve letter. Said yes, you can do this. So that was the first hurdle was getting the power to increase the size of the pump house. So we brought new power in, brand new switch gear. Uh, uh, brand new drives for the pumps, which I'll talk about in a little bit, and all new piping, pumps, and controls. The drives are variable speed drives, variable, they're called VFDs. They allow us to throttle the pump up and down. The old style was to just run full speed and then throttle a valve, and it's not very efficient. This is more efficient, and it's a lot easier to run. So all three pumps have brand new Yaskawa um, uh, variable frequency drives. That will uh, that are run over the uh, 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 network. It's they're not hardwired other than to the to the pumps themselves. They're run remotely because we do run this pump house from Killington from the control room. With these larger pumps, they're higher pressure. We can now run low E snow guns further up the mountain. You'll see them on B slope, A slope, and further up the pike this year as part of this project. We we added uh, tower guns. I believe they're HKD clicks, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. So the four pumps were 150 horse a piece. These new ones are 300. There's only three of them, but they're 350 horsepower a piece. That's a net gain of 450 additional horsepower of pumping capacity. Uh, we increased the line size coming into the building. We, we, made, we doubled the, the lines leaving the building. There was one eight inch line, now there's two. We were able to run the old system at Pico, the low pressure system with, the, with a control valve. All the new stuff from the pike over to A slope is all newer pipe and that will see the increase in pressure and that will see the new low E snow guns. Back in uh, 96, Killington uh, uh, managed Pico and then in 97, uh, uh, Killington bought it and we, uh, replaced the old air compressors with these Ingersoll Rand uh, Centax centrifugal air compressors. They're oil free so there's no residual oils going out uh, through the airlines. Uh, some older compressors are oil baths and these, the air side is completely oil free so we're, we're doing our part for the environment with uh, replacing the diesels with uh, these oilless, oil free air. Royal Electric did a real nice job on the, on the installation here uh, by bringing the power in where we didn't have it before. Um, the power used to come in the other side of the building, but it was more efficient to put the transformer closer to the pumps. So they put the transformer on the uphill back side of the building, they ran the power in here, they, they supplied us with this new switch gear, they did a beautiful job of installing it and labeling it. Um, the pipe work they did was, was, was very nice and we are looking forward to uh, October 3rd when we uh, do our first commissioning, um, powering up the pumps and, and moving some water. The snowmaking construction crew is getting ready to uh, connect the new pipe from the pond to the pump house. Um, this is the last piece of the puzzle uh, for the Pico pump station before we uh, are ready to commission it. Um, it's, an, it's a larger, a 12 inch, uh, eight, um, HDP plastic pipe will not rot in the ground. It will be there forever. Unlike the old uh, metal bestus pipe that was in there that was subject to cracking and failures, uh, this should be uh, maintenance free for forever. Um, and it is a larger size, so we'll be able to flow more water down from the ponds. So that's the new Pico pump station. Uh, we're really looking forward to uh, when it's online and making snow this winter.